Congratulations, Master. You have you have completed the trial. You know of the power to proceed to the sacred flame that will be entrusted to your sword and your strong spirit. The claw shots are one of the goddess's sacred gifts and one of the best items in all of Zelda. True story. I actually freaking love the claw shots so much in any Zelda game. They're my favorite Zelda item in general. You can extend these claws attached to the chains and pull yourself to targets and vines beyond your reach. The flame is somewhere in the desert. I conjecture that it, is, that it lies in a place you have not yet visited, Master. Really, Fi? So, guys, welcome back to more Legends of the Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we didn't just do the Sacred Trial. We freaking derped out on the Sacred Trial. But now we have one of the best Zelda items in the game. It's actually my favorite Zelda. As I said, it's my favorite Zelda item in general, but it's not quite my um my uh favorite in this game. There's one item that I that I prefer in this game, but the claw shots are so much fun. It's like Twilight Princess where you have two of them as well, so you can be freaking Spider-Man. But before we actually look for where we need to go, there's actually quite a few things we could get um that open up with the claw shots, and it's just not just in this area. But for now, we'll stick to just getting the stuff in the area. But then. When we um, beat the dungeon, we'll go back and get all the stuff, crazy things that the claw shots uh, unlock. Okay, here we go. Remember where uh, we got that heart container earlier? Of course you don't, because it was in a sped up montage, so you probably won't remember it anyway. If it wasn't in a sped up montage. Well, we can actually go back here to get hit by electric chew. No, I'm just going to ignore you, chew. I'm going to ignore chew, because what we need to do is we need to go to the end and it, oh god I don't miss the I miss the giant those those giant um oh god I, I forgot about all this I don't miss these guys I'm out I'm out I said I'm out I want to be zapped okay good I'm out I miss the I prefer the, those um bigger ones that don't have hazards they they're longer to kill like the water ones or the green ones they're they're harder to kill because they take longer but I prefer them because I can't zap you they're pretty harmless they just take a while and they're fun. and this game is fun where you can just wail your sword on enemies and kill them but no they have that freaking zapper ones and see this is this is the this is the usage of the double claw shot we can be like spider-man go from wall to wall because we're swinging like a spider can in twilight princess you get one claw shot then you get another um right after but in this game they give you both straight out of the bat and here's the goddess key that we need to get it's kind of um duh, i want to get out let go there we go it's kind of hard to find but uh, later on, you do get the ability to douse for goddess cubes. But luckily, I'm skilled and I know where they all are. Skyward strike! And this is probably the most annoying goddess cube in the game. It's so freaking obvious where it is, and it's like the freaking chest in the in the in the in the the the, the, the skylofts where you could just see it, but you don't know how to get it. Same thing here. You could, you could clearly see it every single time we visit it, yet we could never get it till now. It's so annoying. It's like, it's like, oh, you, I'm here, but you can't get me. But now we can't! Skyward Strike! There we go. This should make navigating around the desert so much easier. No, don't make me lose my footing, Moblin. I don't want to die, you know, I'm just going to leave this guy. Actually, no. I could, use, I could use the hearts to to kill him. Hopefully, they give me hearts. Lately, they've been giving me rupees. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he gave me another rupee. Great. I don't think we could actually have uh, gotten up on this platform yet because we needed the claw shot. I don't know. Can this... Oh, uh, what the hell? Why is he giving me rupees? I need hearts. Clearly, I suck so much that I need hearts. Great. Yeah, I don't think we could have gotten up yet there. Anyway, so... Um, something I want to talk about is, uh, the, the, the hookshot, um, except for this game, um, usually the hookshot will, um, will, uh, get, like, an upgrade or so, like, in, like, uh, the, in, like, between, in the middle of the game. Like, like, uh, for example, in Twilight Princess, you had one hookshot, 
Then you got two. But in this, let's start off with two. I think the stupidest, the most ridiculous and needless upgrade to the hook shot was the long shot. It's like, oh, it's the same thing as the hook shot. It's just longer. Like, can someone please tell me what the hell was the point of all that? And, but the point of this guy is, I know there's a stool there and we could heal up. God, my stackways are really awkward. And there's obviously a gossip stone somewhere nearby. Because there's a bunch of, yep, there's one right here, obviously. And holy god, I'm scared that, like, by, um, I'm going to actually blow up the bombs and they're all going to, ooh, an evil crystal. Wow, I didn't actually expect that. And there's a chest here. Okay, just a monster horn. I don't know why they put, like, these this comments. I guess it's not that common. I haven't actually been finding that many monster horns. I think a good way you can... And what is what is five to say? Zamba... What are you... Why are you explaining me? Oh, that's true. Yeah, I've been trying to do this, like, for a while. But it hasn't been letting me. Because it hasn't been letting me, like, uh, lock onto their waist. But I guess, like, maybe because you told me I can do it now. Though I think I sh did it before I showed it off. I don't remember. And I want this blessed butterfly. Because they're not just there to be pretty. They're also there... You could, like, get upgrades and stuff for them that I kind of need. I'm all, I almost never get visitors. My name is Golo. I thought you were the same Goron from before. And I'm researching the legend of the three dragons, Skyward Sword, one of which is said to live here. At first glance, it would seem that there is nothing in this area, but I know there is something here. I would just keep on looking. So your name is Link. I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? What do you... What? It's... If, what? Link is such an easy... What, what are you on? And how about you, Link? Why are you here? You're looking for a sacred flame? That sounds like something I've heard of before, but maybe not. Sweet, Goro! I remember now, I read something about it in the ancient scrolls that spoken of the Laneiru Sansi. I do not remember all the details, but you can get to the Sansi if you just go straight through here. If you want to get to the Laneiru Sansi, you're going to need this key. What, what is the point of this? I guess... No! I was gonna say, I guess because if we came here before, we wouldn't be able to get through, but... Why? What? What? Why doesn't he... Like, what's the point of that key over there? Like, that locked door? Why couldn't it just be a normal door? Why, why did he give us a key? Oh my god, he's talking to us. I just want to heal. I don't want to talk to you. Ugh, oh, god. God damn it, go off, sir. The thing is, these research digs can get really expensive, but they can also be lucrative. Any interest in investing 10... Ah, oh, sure. I can dig your investment. Thanks, I'll put these funds to good use. All right. Okay. So where where did the, okay? So it's 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 over here. So we are going to go up here. Loco. I still don't get the point of locking the door. I mean, I get it if like if you came here before, the guy wouldn't be there to do a certain events. We can't come here anyway. What is the point of that? Why? I, it's just it's just a minor thing that's that's just bothering. Stuff like that always bothers me in game, like pointless traps and whatnot. And this is where the fun begins. A report, master. This is the Nehru Sansi. The whole area was once vast an ocean. Oh, it's a vast ocean. But the water has all evaporated. And now the area is a sea of sand. See, I think it's the other you. There's going to be a huge sea here. Because, again, they're obviously setting up something that happens before like this huge lore so i think this is going to be a huge ocean in zelda u hopefully signs indicate that this place function oh i couldn't let you didn't let me finish instead we're expanding our dongers and by our dongers i mean our um our uh da -da -da, our uh, um what am i trying to say here our uh our our map and i was saying that um the water area is the only one that changes music. I forgot the sand sea actually has a different music. I don't like the music here. It's kind of soothing and nice to listen to. Okay, so now we're going to have some... It's kind of unnecessary, but it's fun. Claw shot action. It'd be cool if like these like collapsed if you took too long, but I don't think they do. It's just a pointless way to show off what you can do with a claw shot. I think I think there are some stuff later that like collapses if you don't do it quicker. Is that in Twilight Princess? I don't know. The point is the claw shot is fun because you can just like be like Spider-Man and be like whoop de doo spider link spider link does whatever a spider link can okay let's go let's grab this thing and i think there should be a goddess cube nearby i believe okay good fizen talking to me she's just gonna let me explore without being in my face that's good all right let's see what's in these geysers oh bugs i'm gonna get these bugs gotcha sir and i'm glad it didn't tell me got the bugs because i got some bugs off screen so that's good okay so now where I know this goddess cube is near here somewhere. 
but the question is, where is it? Aha! Uh -huh. That's how you get around. We use this unnecessary claw shot target in order to get across. I never got why they changed the name from the hook shot to the claw shot, though. I do, I'm, I'm not complaining because I do really like, oh god, there's, there's like mini Moldericks everywhere. I'm going to call these, I know they have names and I know I've said the names before, but I'm going to call them mini Moldericks, so that's what they are to me. They're just a smaller version of the boss of the previous area. Not the boss of this area, though. We'll never fight him again, right? Okay, so Skyward, strike! That's where the goddess cube was. I'm not sure if you realized. And I love how there's a convenient hole there. Just for the goddess cube. There. I guess that's on purpose. Like it made the hole when it fell from the sky. I don't really know. Now how do we get off here? Oh, it's pretty simple. We just go up this ledge. Man, I do like this music. Though honestly, this um area does... It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Oh god, there's a giant one of those. I'm not fighting that. Screw that. Anyway, um... This area is kind of cool, like it's a cool concept, but it does feel kind of lazy, like, oh, we need a new area, let's just make a huge open sea instead of something that's, uh, that's, like, creative and obstacles in the way. Let's just make a sea with, like, different, it's kind of like Wind Waker, but Wind Waker, I understood, because, um, they didn't have the, the techno, the reason why Wind Waker exists is because they wanted to make an open world Zelda from since 2001, but the problem is they couldn't because of the technology at the time, they couldn't process it all, so they made this game that just see to have the feeling of an open world without actually being an open world but an open world zelda in my opinion is zelda to the max and that's why i don't really like skyward sword much because it's kind of like the opposite of an open world zelda because there's only three areas you can't really explore it's just it's just kind of the antithesis of what i enjoy about legend of zelda games because there's a lot of open world rpgs there's skyrim witcher xenoblade but there's very 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 few open world action games and that's something i'm so excited for about Zelda. I, I look like, I've never heard of or played an action open world game. So I think Fallout's an action game. I don't think it's an RPG. I don't know. I'm not quite familiar with Fallout that much. Now I need to give this guy a voice because I've kind of been um, ignoring him instead of talking as him because I've actually had stuff to say. Dot dot dot. It was the day of the storm. Fweep. My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual. Vroom. And then those brutes. Bzzz, the pirates suddenly attacked us. Bzzz, they were after Nehru's flame, Zoom! My cue was imprisoned, Vroom! And I was thrown into the sea! Kinda like the voice I've given to him. It could be better, but it's the best I got. I drifted to the current on this port, Vroom! I don't get it, how come all the robots sound like this? But this one sounds like this! After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found, Zzz. It haunts me, wondering where all my ship could be. Wait. I bet my hat that they turned the ship invisible and hiding out somewhere. Vroom. That's kind of a stretch of a guess. Invisible. In order to protect Nehru's flame, this ship is a function that allows it to become invisible. Vroom. Wow, that's so weird. A pirate ship with an invisibility cloak? It's like the Millennium Falcon. You say you're searching for Nehru's flames. Oh, oh, so you need Nehru's flame to find someone important to your room. Wait, no, I don't think Nehru, um, the Millennium Falcon could go invisible or cannon. I don't know. In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew. Vroom. If you'll help me, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. I'll help, sure, why not? I, it's a win-win, so you scratch my back, I scratch your back. Though you don't have a back, you're a robot. Really? Vroom. Well, in that case, bzz. Hmm. There's something weird about that map of yours. Vroom. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, you need a proper sea chart. Do we? There's a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. Bzz. So first, you need to get on this boat and then set a course for padding! Yeah, there's really no point in this. It's just an excuse to make this section last long. Shall we off? Vroom! Let's go! Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's go. Vroom! And here is something that's not like Wind Waker, but it's mostly like Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. The whole sailing mechanics. It's not like you're sailing... Well, it's not sailing, the boat. It's a motorboat, and you can freely control it. Though in Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, you set a course. This you can just, like, um... Yeah, yeah, you could just move on your own. Though, um, it does have the bomb mechanics similar to Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Again, this, um, shows fingerprints of how... The, the team behind Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks were clearly part of this game. Like, they clearly had a huge influence. There's a lot of uh, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. And I guess, how do we use bombs? Okay, just like the normal bombs. But we, um, we, um, uh, we aim it with our force motion controls. That's fine. The Queen user, no, we can't. I'm glad that the boat doesn't use force motion controls. That, wait, no. Does it? No, it doesn't. 
I'm using like oh wait it does because I'm I'm hold on let me just turn my Wii mode okay no my controller nope it does not have force motion controls that's good I'm using motion control I'm using I'm I'm moving my Wii mode mo mode anyway the way I want the boat to go because it's like it's like a force of habit like I'm so used to everything using force motion controls I'm like oh no I don't want to I want to get out I don't want to fire that was a waste of a bomb though I don't think all right let's get out but yeah I don't think um. Yeah, I'm glad that doesn't use force motion controls, though. I'm doing it uh, on purpose. Skipper's retreat. We've arrived, we... My shack is at the very top, from The sea chart we need is in my shack. But you're the only one who will have to go get it. There are more monsters about than before, because padding is fun. I can't wander far from the boat, so I'll just stay here. Uh-huh, that's your excuse for being a lazy little bitch. Okay, so let's go into the jack and... No, no. Okay, this way. Good. So, yeah, um... This this area is kind of a bit, uh... A bit... It's, 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 uh... It's an area that, um, motivates you... I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. Um... It, it motivates you to use the claw shots, because it's a very vertically inclined area. See, like, we have to get to the top. Which is kind of a cool, because I do really like the claw shots. Um... Admittedly, this is actually a very unmemorable area, in my opinion. Like, I barely... Like, oh, God. As I said, the main gimmick... The main... Oh, God. And the main... Okay. Okay. Let me let me survive. Then I can talk. Okay. The main draw of this Let's Play is... um, uh, What happens if uh, like someone who barely... Rem like, it's my experience playing the game without, like... With a very few... Like, very little memory of it. Because I haven't played this game since it came out in 2011. And so far it's been relatively the same, but honestly, I don't remember this, I don't remember, uh, like, this area at all. Like, I remember, like, I remember it exists, because obviously I do research before playing the game. Like, I obviously, like, know what I, know what I'm getting into and stuff, but, like, I, like, in terms of actually playing it, I don't remember, like, I, like, when I did research, like, before I did, uh, why isn't it letting me double claw shot me, because I used the claw shot already. But yeah, before I did the research, I actually completely forgot this area even existed. And how do I get that chest? No, I'm just gonna ignore that for now. I'm pretty sure we can't get that till later anyway. So for now, let's bomb this wall. We haven't actually used the bombs in a while. Oh my god, oh god. Go away, Chew. I don't, I'm not, there's no, as I said, there's no way I'm fighting that thing. Because I'll lose so many hearts because I suck at the timing of the electricity and stuff. Okay, but, okay, so let's, um, yeah, we haven't really used the bombs in a while. Oh god. Quit zapping me, stupid! Get off! Get off! God, thank you, thank you for listening to me. Okay, I did not mean to um, to use the bombs there. I meant to use the claw shot. I what? oh god, that was a clutch! That, oh my god, I just barely, I just barely passed that that uh, chew that was about to hit me. But yeah, um, I do once again one thing I can't stop praising with Skyward Sword. I love how, except for the whip, except for the whip, which is only really used to like get collectibles from enemies. Um, now. It's, it, I do love how all the items like are still useful even towards the end. And this is a new type of mob. It has a shield. But you can just run over the shield, making it a lot easier. And you can just slap its butt with your sword and kill it. Though I'm surprised the sword isn't getting dirty or anything. And I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. Okay. 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 I'm just going to go. Oh, God. I went to, like, you know what? Die, sir. Nope. Okay. I want to run over a shield. I want to run over a shield. Run over your shield. Do the parkour trick. And slap his butt with your sword, and I'm surprised he's not getting very... Do they have more HP? Because I swear the previous Moblin was dying quicker. Okay, okay, okay. Die? Can we? Just, can you just die already? Are you dead? Thank you for dying, sir. We hope to never see you again, though. There's going to be a few of these things. And this is a way to um backtrack back to the previous area, though. I, I'm, I'm starting to think this is also a way to get the chest, but it's actually not. How do we get that chest? I thought this was be the way to get the chest. We'll figure it out later. And there's a random chest here for some reason. It's just lying around and can't see the red ruby because the freaking Deku Baba is in the way and we're going to kill this Deku Baba. And I'm not saying plant thingy anymore because I actually know the name now. Though I knew the name before I just called it plant thingy. I don't know. I'm inconsistent. Deal with it. And now it's time to get that inherently obvious goddess cube that's just there. It's not even like tricky to miss, which is good because it's a pain when I miss goddess cube. Though I haven't missed goddess cube this adventure, but there's some goddess cubes that I would miss if I had, again, if I hadn't done my homework before Let's Play. But I did my homework, so I know exactly where to go for everything. 
But I think there was a few goddess cubes that I would have missed. Like all those tree ones in the Farron Woods. There's no way I would have known to get that Skyward Strike. Alright, let's go forward. Man, I keep forget like I keep forgetting uh 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 the I keep forgetting which areas we've been to and which we're not, because it all looks the same. And remember how I said we don't use the whip anymore? I mean the whip isn't used that much. Well there you go! The whip is being used, and that is if that actually hit me, that would be a, an incredible cheap shot, but it's not. Okay, let's kill this guy. No, we're gonna whip him. Right, okay, now we're gonna whip him. I think we have to claw shot him too. I'm not sure. I don't think we can actually. I wouldn't be surprised if you could, because usually they like to um, provide enemies that um, you can use the item you just got on. Though I don't think, I don't even think we've actually encountered a new enemy since returning to the to the 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 the, the, the Lanayru Desert. Even though this is a new area, it all has the same enemies, which is kind of fine by me. And, like you don't always have to uh, add new enemies and change things up. You can like stick to what you got. And oh my god, dragonflies! It's just me. Or dragonflies, the most annoying bug to catch because they like fly away quick and they're so hard to see and they blend in a lot. Like I didn't even know it was there until I got like up close and personal. And I see what's going on. There's a freaking. There's gonna be a Deku scrub there. That, I mean a Deku Baba there. If I hook shot that, and I completely miss because of of course I miss. Of course I miss. All right, let's get this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Thank you for flying, Jared Airlines. We have to see you again. Oh, we didn't get to see it drop. It just... Oh, no, we did get to see it drop. We it dropped. Though I think that was a collectible, not an actual thing. Oh, God, I want that dragonfly. Why? Did anyone just see that? The sailcloth. It triggered the sailcloth. Look, look. Oh, no, it didn't trigger the sailcloth that time. That's weird. But hold on. I'm going to get this dragonfly. You know what? Screw it. I don't even need the dragonfly. The only potion I care about anyway is the freaking art potion. I don't believe in you need dragonflies for that, and if you do, I don't really care. I don't even care about the third one, I just need the second one. And of course, when you have this giant pillar, you gotta have these, like, um, vulture-type enemies, like, circling the top of it. Can't be a desert without that. Oh, okay, let me whip you, and then... I'm gonna see if we can claw shot them. I actually kind of highly... I wouldn't be surprised, but I kind of highly doubt uh, they're claw shotable. Where's the other one? Okay, there it is. Okay. Nope, you can't hold claw shot it. Wow, the whip actually has a point and it's not overshadowed for once. Because the whip pretty much... And I, I should have stopped, dropped, and rolled to get rid of all the fire that was at me. But eh, fire can just poison me or whatever fire does. It burns you. I don't know what I'm... I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I just say random crap sometimes because I'm, I'm just so flustered that it makes me want to say random crap. And there's obviously something here, though. I think this is... No, this is not where we came from. There's just... Oh, there's a chest there. It's like, I don't, it, it's not a heart container or a goddess cube, because goddess cubes can't fit in chests. It's really some sort of, oh, it's another evil crystal. These evil crystals are starting to become, the placement of these evil crystals are starting to become really random. I mean, I got the, the gold, um, the gold skulls should be in these chests. These evil crystals should only be ex uh, exclusive to, like, certain areas. Though you think they're like, man, there's not enough areas with evil crystals. Let's put these in random chests so the player can get more of them. That, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what their, um, their, uh, the, the developer's philosophy was at the time. And, oh, God, you're gonna drag me down. Fine, I'll wait for you to go back up. Hopefully it goes back up. Yes, it is going back up. And let's see if we can get the other one. And, because timing is everything. Nope, we missed, because... Come on, come on. I was gonna say this is force motion controls, but it's really not. Everyone loves the pointer, um, part of the... Of these type of things. It's so much easier than the control stick. No! Okay, there we go. Finally. And we're going to get this target. Because we're on the mark. We're not a closed convenient thing in Canada. I mean, a, we're not a closed door in Canada. This target closed in Canada. Alright, there we go. Alright, we go up here. And, and where's the entrance? Oh, here's the entrance of this place. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought that was part of the scenery. I didn't realize that was the actual entrance. Can I get a derp, derp, derp? Okay, so we are gonna... Oh, is this... Huh. Go away, sir! Huh. I thought this was it. I forgot there's more to this. Oh, no, I don't think there is. I think this is just it. We just need to find the switch. But for now, we're gonna kill all the freaking enemies. And now we're gonna blow this all away. Blow it all away. And I don't even know what I'm singing now, because I just thought I'm gonna blow it all away. Alright, come on. Get the pots. Get the pots. Get the pepper pots. Fine, screw it, I'll just blow it all away. Blow it all away. 
Blow it all away. And actually, is there a stool here? Oh, oh well, there's a stool right in front of me, derp. Alright, let's, let's just sit on the stool. No, I said sit on the stool. Thank you, Link. I recommend waiting until after you have achieved your objective before- No! Screw you! And by the way, while you're talking to me, I'm getting a rest anyway, bitch. <laughs> oh, a chest. Alright, let's open this chest. Man, there's been a lot of chests in this area. I'm not complaining, I'm just making an observation. Because sometimes I just like to make random observation about things. Oh, okay, no, that was the actual... That's awkward, I thought this was going to be another treasure, but it's actually what we need. I thought we were going to find a... Is there a time shift? That's weird, I thought there would be a time shift stone in this thing, because there's a bunch of dead robots. And I thought we talked to a robot, I thought that's what we were looking for, a time shift stone. <laughs> I guess the, the, the dead robots are just for, um... Or just for show, because it just shows that there were robots here at one point, I don't know. This image would indicate that the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Alright, let's blow I'm just gonna, like, look around. Oh, there's freaking amber relics over. I'm just gonna look to see if there's any more stuff. Because I, I want to be safe than sorry. Make sure there's not, like, any optional, um, switches or anything. Uh, that we can hit to like revive these guys and they give us something specials or special give us any hints But I don't think there are it just pots and stuff. There could be a fairy in one of these pots so I'm gonna look through the pots. Okay, so there are actually two ways to get down here We can go down this rail and all the way to the bottom and then oh no It doesn't take us to the bottom take us close or we can dive off here thing is I'm kind of nervous about doing this because this is how I'm sure this is how we get the chest that's below us but if we miss it, we'll have to come all the way up here again to freaking get the chest. And we could use the- I wish there was a way to easily backtrack. Okay, okay. Aim steady. I don't want to- I don't want to climb all the way up there. Please don't make me climb up there. Okay, I think we're going to get it. Yes, okay, good. We got the chest. I was so scared. We've missed the chest. It's not even in anything important. It's on a heart container. It's on a goddess cube. It's a, it's a silver ruby. That's pretty useful. I thought it'd be like a treasure or something. To be honest, I kind of- um, value uh, treasure more than uh, rupees at this point because money is so plentiful though it really isn't actually I'm always finding myself short on money but I think by the end of the game I'll easily be able to afford everything without even trying okay um so when we get to the actually um not yet I won't end the episode off quite yet because I want to get to the bottom first and I want to go to the next area if I don't want to talk to this guy figure out what we're doing for the next thing and then I'll end the episode and I am talking out my um uh, behind the scenes what I plan while I do it because I don't plan well and I think as I talk and I could get that thing but eh, we have plenty of hearts anyway okay so let's let's talk okay no 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 we're gonna we're gonna open up here and okay okay now we're gonna talk to this guy right here and then we'll figure out what we're doing you got the seat chart room now get finally navigate probably zoom free let's go look for my ship shall we set a sail Set sail. Anchors away. Zoom. 